and welcome back to my channel. Now it has been a minute since I actually sat down and filmed a video for you guys. Apologies that I've been a little bit MIA. I, well as you saw from my previous video I will link it down below. I just recently got back from a trip to Cyprus that I went on with my boyfriend and I just feel so blessed and lucky that I was actually able to get away this year. But I have had a chance to pop into, oh good old Primark. Now I didn't spend a lot of money in Primark, well, I still spent £77. I didn't spend loads of money in Primark purely because I'm a little bit skint this month because of the holiday, which is okay. I went to the Primark in the Trafford Centre and I just wasn't really impressed with it, to be fair. There wasn't loads of stuff and I've been watching so many Primark calls recently. I was expecting to find some really nice items that I'd kind of seen and wanted to pick up, but... It was a bit disappointing, but I picked, still picked up a few things and I'm going to show them to you guys either way. So before we get started, if you want to hit that subscribe button, that would be so, so appreciated. If you like this video, make sure you give it a little like as well. If you want to head over and follow me on my Instagram, I will leave all of the information for that down below as well. And yeah. I don't think there's anything more left to say. So if you want to see what I recently picked up from Primark, then keep on watching. So it's a little bit of a random collection that I picked up from Primark. So I'm just going to pull things out randomly and we'll just see where we go. So the first thing that I picked up were these. I have worn these. I wore these last night already. Sorry, I will insert a picture of what they look like on. So these are these black high-waisted mom jeans. I picked these up in a size 12. I do kind of wish I'd almost sized up again because they wear a little bit tight around the thigh and I do find that sometimes with the Primark mom jeans if you want them really really oversized do size up but the one issue then you have is that it's going to be really big around the waist. I went with a 12 and to be fair once I actually kind of broke them in a little bit they were fine. These were only £15 which I think is so inexpensive for a good quality pair of jeans. I have so many pairs of these now. I've got a kind of a light acid wash pair. I've got just a normal blue denim pair with rips in. I've now picked up the black pair. I definitely am going to pick up more because they're just like my favourite kind of jeans to live in. I don't really wear skinny jeans that anymore because they're just... I find them too uncomfortable. Jeans are just a must and if you ever see them in Primark make sure you pick them up because they are just... oh. I just love them. Right, next up is a home item. And again, the home section wasn't that great in the Primark that I went to. I do need to go to the one in town really and just kind of have a big blowout session, but I might wait till I get paid to do that. Anyways, the next item I picked up with these, these are, is a joint pack of two just plain white pillows. These were nine pounds. So it's four pound 50 each for each pillow. They come in a pack of two. I have bought these to go on my bed because was it? it must have been a good couple of months ago I threw out the cushions that I had on my bed as they just I just didn't like them anymore they didn't go with my bedding it just it wasn't really a look so I saw these and I thought these were really really nice they're so soft as well because they're white they should go with every single set of bedding that I've got because I have got a mixture of kind of pink blue gray depending on what what one I want on but white or black tends to go with everything so I picked up these and these were only nine pounds for two and then to go with that I also picked up this tiny little like kind of round circular cushion this was three pounds and the reason why I picked this up is because I saw it on kind of one of the bedspread displays they had those two cushions this kind of rectangular black one and then this little white one as well it is so soft can't even describe to you how soft it is and I just think these two within this one in front of it it's gonna be such a vibe and it just kind of adds a little bit something to your bed and I don't know I'm all about that aesthetic life really I've just I just wish that my landlords had picked better furniture for this flat but you know next up is an item that if you watched my cypress vlog then you would have seen the day that i flew to cypress the morning of my hair dryer decided to break on me that was fun because then my hair decided to be an absolute frizzball since i've had it done it seems to be so much better today but that day it was just so frizzy i don't know whether the humidity in the air was too much it was just a lot so i picked up another one from primark this was only eight pounds don't need it to be a big fancy hairdryer i'm not like i'd love one of those dyson ones but they're like 400 pounds i can get this one for eight they've actually got quite decent electrical items in primark but i thought just for eight pounds as well they do a travel size version of this if you want to take one on holiday i mean i just needed a basic hairdryer and primark delivered i'm just pulling these items out randomly in the bag so i do apologize if 
you were here for some particular order because they're not in any order. Now, next up is an underwear item. Again, the underwear section in the Primark I went to was just not great, to be fair. The only item I saw that I'd actually kind of wear was this little set. So this is five pounds and this is sort of a bralette and thong set. I got this in a small, which is a UK 10 to 12. The thing is, is that they normally do this in like a cream, a black, a white, and loads of other colourless as well. I literally saw black and like a mustard yellow. You can't go wrong with these because they're just so comfortable. They are, it's in this kind of like ribbed material. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Again, I wear stuff like this to work because after 12 hours, a bra is just not gonna be your friend. I definitely need to go get some more of these. And again, matching underwear to try and make yourself feel a little bit extra. And for a fiver, a fiver. One thing I always pick up from Primark are these. So this is from the home section. These are antibacterial cleaning sponges. I love these. These are a complete dupe for the minkies. And if not better, I would say. So these were two pounds and you get two. And normally for one minky, you can pay like two pound 50 or something like that. So I got two for two pounds. They only had the blue ones in, unfortunately, where I went to, but they do, I don't know if you've seen, probably in some of my previous hauls, I've shown you some of the pink ones that I've picked up. They're kind of pink and they've got hearts on the back of them. So there is like a buffing side, an exfoliation side, or like a scrubbing side. I use these all around my flat whenever I'm doing a deep clean, as you've probably seen in some of my speed cleans. Can't really go wrong, really, can you? Is it an Eloise video without a cup of tea? No. So next up is an item that I saw on Jordan Lipskin's most recent Primark haul. And I don't know what it is recently, but I just kind of have this sudden urge and desire to get loads more piercings in my ears. I really, really want kind of this area of my cartilage done with like a little hoop. And I definitely want my seconds done. All I have is just normal plain pierced ears. That's the only piercing that I've got. I don't have any other piercings anywhere else. This, I saw this, and this kind of gives the illusion of another piercing until I actually get one. But these are... Um, what are these? Ear cuffs, I think they're called. So these were £1.50 and they are just so, so cute. And now the catch is, is that you need to obviously have pierced ears at the bottom, which I do. But then at the top, it's literally just a cuff. So you don't even have to worry about not having kind of piercings at the top. I just think that's so an ingenious idea by Primark. I'm pretty sure loads of other retailers do stuff like this, but this is the first time I've ever seen one. I love this little style pattern. I wish they had more of these. This was like Again, it might have just been the Primark that I went to, but this was like the only style that I saw, but this in another style would be so, so cute and so like, just kind of like bringing a little extra accessory to your outfit and Primark jewelry is so, so good. But again, you have to make sure you go to the right store. The next item that I got was this. So this is a white roll neck jumper. The Primark jumper section was actually really good to be fair, but I need to have a clear out of my jumpers and kind of start again. But every year I will always get one of these, a white high neck kind of oversized jumper. I did get this in a large, which is a size 14 to 16 because they had small, but I wanted it a little bit oversized, but then they either had large or then they had like a double XL. And that was just, it was too much for me. I ideally wanted an extra large, but I haven't tried this on yet. So hopefully it kind of gives me that overstyled fit. I will probably pair this with those black mom jeans that I've bought. And this will just be such a cute winter outfit. And so, so inexpensive as well. How much was this? This was £10 and it's really, really soft. And it's actually a decent thickness as well, because that is the one thing sometimes with Primark is that their, the quality of their items can sometimes be not quite as good as say somewhere like Zara or Misguided or Topshop or something like that. But for £10. Yeah, love this. They did it in black. I think they did it in a grey. I want to say they did it in a light pink. Definitely, once I get paid and I actually have some money, I'm definitely going to go back and get some more of these. So next up, this is from the girls section again as well. And I got this in a large too. So this is an oversized kind of sweat print and it has the, what's it say? Arizona Athletic. I can't say I've ever been to Arizona, but this was just really super cute so this was 12 pounds so a little bit more pricey but the quality does feel really really nice now this is massive so i think this was already oversized and then i just went do you know what that's not overnight oversized enough for me and went up to a large so 
definitely again i'd pair this with kind of my black mum jeans or my blue mum jeans or i'd even like if it was a bit of a warmer autumn day maybe this and some cycling shorts and then my air force ones i just you just don't think you can get enough of these oversized sweats they're just so so good and for 12 pounds it was slightly more expensive because of the print on it because it's kind of like that american style print but they did do a whole stand of just plain sweaters and i think they were about five pounds i did have a look the color i wanted unfortunately wasn't in my size or the size that i wanted because probably it's been so popular it's just the shelves have been wiped so i got this one and i just can't wait to wear this i think this is just going to be such a staple piece for this winter so another two random items that i picked up this first one is a shower cap this was one pound fifty and it's kind of in this like minty green shade of color i don't know um the reason why i bought this is because girls will understand when you wash your hair it kind of has to fit in with your schedule and what's going to be happening in your life because washing your hair requires an extra bit of time and sometimes girls we don't have that time i always throw my hair up in a bun on top of my head however what i find is that the front bits because often i like to wash my face in the shower and then the back bits underneath at the nape of my neck will always get wet and then what will happen is they will go frizzy and they will go curly and it just then i have to spend like an extra bit of time sorting my hair out like i'm doing right now to kind of make sure that i'm presentable for the outside world so i saw this i'm gonna give it a go hopefully it helps keeping my hair dry when i'm in the shower no one just wants wet hair when they don't intend to have wet hair and this is £1.50, so inexpensive. I think they did it in another colour as well that I saw at the till. But this was the only one I saw in like the beauty section. And then the next two items that I picked up were these room scented sachets. So these were £1.50 each and I got them in clean cotton. Now, what the gist of these, this smells so good. What the gist of these are is that you take obviously out the plastic outside wrapping, but then you leave the sachet inside and then you hang them in rooms and essentially it gives off a scent and kind of a bit like a candle but in sachet form essentially but what i'm going to use for these is i'm actually going to hang these in my wardrobe and because it's kind of the smell of clean cotton it's kind of going to hopefully imitate the scent of like fresh laundry and, and clean clothes and if you hang them in your wardrobe i'm hoping that the smell will then penetrate into my clothes and keep them smelling fresh i'm sure you probably know sometimes some items you have in your wardrobe and you don't touch them very often and then when it is time to bring them out they just kind of have a little bit of that musty smell maybe it's just me i don't know but for one pound fifty and these are so strong and because it says they last up to four weeks i'm thinking because they're going to be in like an enclosed space they might last a little bit longer i'll let you know how this goes and hopefully they make my sm clothes smell really nice okay we're on to the final item and the final item is from the men's section now whenever i go to primark i can't not delve into the men's section purely because the men's joggers and sort of jumpers always i just find that a little bit nicer not nicer but a nicer fit for me than the girls section which i think a lot of people have the same kind of opinions so this is just a plain white sweat and i got this in an extra large and this was six pounds i've been wanting one of these kind of like just plain oversized this is massive this is massive i've just been wanting one of these plain oversized sweats for ages i found some off amazon and ebay and they were kind of like 10 12 pounds maybe up to even 15 pounds i just kind of forgot about primark really because i thought this if it's again like a slightly warmer autumn day this with kind of my mum denim shorts and then air force ones that would be such a cute outfit and do you know what i've actually seen people recently They've kind of then got these plain white ones and then kind of customised them themselves, either via tie dye or they've kind of like put logos on them or put them in print. Maybe I might have a bit of a double around, but if not, I've just got it in plain white. They had it in black. They had it in a dark grey. They did have it in a light grey as well, which I did put in my basket. But then I thought, no, Louise, you don't need to. You've already got enough jumpers at home. I kind of just went with the white. I don't know why I went with white, because it's probably going to be the worst to keep clean. But anyways, for £6 you can't go wrong and because those cotton sachets have been stood on, on top of it it just smells so good oh i definitely hope that's gonna work in my wardrobe then so guys that is it that is everything that i recently picked up on my most recent trip to primark like i said i didn't pick up loads one because the primark that i went to in the traffic center i don't know whether it's just the time of day that i went or the day of the week that i went the stock wasn't great and I'd seen so many kind of coats and jackets. That was one of the main reasons I went in was to get kind of an interim coat. They just weren't there. They, it was just, it was just a bit rubbish. And maybe I've just gone to the wrong store. And secondly, my bank account, it's just a little dry is all I'm going to say. 
and that's through my own fault that I've just been on holiday and October is going to be a little bit of a tight month but that's fine. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did like this make sure you give it a little like. Like I said before if you want to come and join this little family of mine then hit that subscribe button. I am going to start posting more videos now I've kind of had a little bit of time off. I need to have a bit of a brainstorm and find out what kind of videos I want to film for you guys but I am loving filming them and I just I just don't want to stop right now. I just I'm just so loving it and yes but I think I think that's it I think that's everything that I have to say so yeah um hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one